Well, good morning. Welcome to Double Talk. It is I'm morning. I'm your co-host, Mark Steffen. And I'm an uh, Irish version of Michael Mandel. And we're here because, uh, well, we're here every week. But today's our because special... Because they can't keep us away. St. Patrick's Day uh, show, which we do every time about this time. Every year. year. Every year we do it. For the last two years. Every there we go. And um, We're very religious, and uh, we like our holidays. And so today we are Irish. Hey. Some of us actually are hey. Irish. Yes, you look Irish, and and uh, you'd make a great leprechaun too. I, I would. If you could only find my lucky stars. I've got a chalet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can keep your hands and off. And so to say, so we did uh, a special thing this year, which is the same special thing we did last year, and that was to do a tasting of Irish whiskeys. But there's a change with this one. We took uh, two Irish whiskeys we've never tasted, uh, and then we turned it into a drink. Sort of called, what's it called? It's the called uh, the uh, Oh Patty Special, I think. Was it? Anyway, it's uh, the same. Patty cocktail. Patty cocktail was well, special. It takes the same idea as the Rob Roy in the Manhattan and uses Irish whiskey, and we were pleasantly surprised. It was good. We, so we've got that footage from our secret uh, tasting chamber. Chamber, yes. Which, of course, is a secret. It's and a secret. Uh, if we just roll that in, why well, it's all pretty self-explanatory. And there we go. That we that we tasted. Kill Hello it. there. I'm Michael Mandel. Mark Steffen here. We're in the secret cha tasting chamber, chamber that uh, only Michael and I know the existence of. Especially today, we're the only ones in this secret place. And as we did last year, a whole year ago, we did our first Irish whiskey tasting. We are trying some new Irish uh, whiskeys we, that we didn't have last year. Uh, this is Kilbegan, which nobody around here seems to know about. It's made in the world's oldest distillery. Um, we'll be also tasting Michael Collins, which is the uh, uh, only Irish whiskey made in a distillery that's independent of any larger uh, distilleries. And people's favorites, Tullamore Dew, which is on sale now for under 20 bucks at two cans. So uh, it's worth picking up. This is uh, on sale at Walgreens, Walgreens too, as well. Walgreens, yes. So we have our cameraman here. Should I not put the lid back on? No, no, because we're going to start first with the uh, uh, Kilt Began. All right. This is uh, uh, Irish whiskey. I think my idea of Irish whiskey, it's somewhere between bourbon and scotch. It's a little sweet, a little smoky. Sounds like a... Yeah, prove it. Song. We'll prove it. We're just doing little dabs here. Okay. Well, here's to uh, St. Patrick. Hi, and the Irish. May they live and be well, even though we now have a, an Argentinian Pope. We do? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. He's going to be called St. Francis of the Sissies. No. No, that's the other guy. That's somebody else. A uh, uh, sissy. What does it smell like? It smells a little like bourbon, right? Candy. Oh. It's got a certain sweetness to it. Pungentness that I like. You know, this is very smooth, and it, and it right. doesn't have that uh, super candyish flavor. It's got tastes pretty close to a nice smooth scotch. I think it tastes like Dewar's. Now they say it's, it's the like world's Dewar's. oldest distillery. It's the world's oldest distillery. That's uh, pretty good. But these are all blends, aren't they? Yeah, they do make. Uh, uh, Redbreast is, no, I think uh, Connemara is a single malt uh, uh, scotch. Uh, and the only place you can get that is Toucan, 38 bucks. Uh, Redbreast, which I think is a blend, it might be a single malt, it's 57 at Toucan. That's, that's the top of the uh, Irish whiskey uh, totem bowl. Here in town, anyway. Well, I'll, I'll get things smooth. rolling with this one while good, we're good. finishing up. This is two more do. Uh, people, I, some people, I, I'll look at your pour as opposed to my pour. <laughs> give the poor guy back there a pour. <laughs> we'll, we'll give our camera operator. Our cameraman. So two more do is a classic. People love it. Uh, my wife uh, knows somebody who uh, really, this is his favorite. Uh, so cheers to uh, people who cheers. work and uh, are Irish. 
and who aren't Irish and, and work and drink. Okay. Mm. Oh, this has one of those absolute vodka aromas that sort of uh, sterilizes your entire uh, gum teeth. Uh, it's got a stronger finish, I think, than Kelbeggin. Wow. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot more. It's got the same amount of alcohol, but it doesn't have the same sweetness. It lingers on your tongue, maybe. With a slight bite to it. Yeah, it's got a little bite. Huh? <laughs> Oh, you're rushing on to the other thing. Wait till you see what we have for the second part of the show, which is uh, the exciting, uh, weird part. What are you drinking? Here, there? when you're ready, Thank you go you. ahead. Thank you. I can never keep up with you uh, with this. This is why I, I still have all these bottles left over. I don't know what's with me. Uh, well, it just takes me too long to uh, kick back the uh, Irish whiskey. Well, I'm glad you brought new bottles that didn't have any dust on them from your house. You know, had we done the port tasting... That would have been a little... Yeah, we had to wipe those bottles We, we off. tried that yesterday, and uh, the bottom of it had, what, like half a ton of... Uh, <laughs> Sediment. Uh, cork cartilage. It was... You know, the, the, the lees. This is, of course, all that in the name of research. I only like tasting, so I don't like drinking stuff. Irish research. You got your Michael Collins? I got my Michael Collins. Michael Collins was the only one we did uh, last year, so let's see how it fares. Of course... Michael Collins was actually a person of Irish history. Yes, he was. In the struggles against the Troubles. The struggle, yes, he was a, a figure of the independence, loved by people like William Butler Yeats and uh, James Joyce. As they, they loved him. Yes, Michael and Collins. portrayed by Liam Neeson in the movie Michael Collins. Well, you know, if Liam Neeson plays somebody, that means he's supposed to be a good guy, right? Like Rob Roy? Yeah. Or, or the guy that uh, Mel, Mel, Bur Mel uh, Gibson played with a half a face, but that was uh, Scottish. Yeah, it was Scottish. Mm. Mm. I like Michael Collins. Whoa, this is very smooth. It's smooth, you know, like this almost tastes like scotch. Just scotch scotch. It doesn't have any of that sweetness that uh, Irish whiskeys usually have. So, actually what we have here are three Irish whiskeys without any of that sweet aftertaste that is so common in them. Mm, that's true. So, um, this one, I believe, I think had the most flavor overall. And uh, you like this one the best. You like which one the best? Our offstage. This uh, one, this one. Purveyor. And this is number two. Mine too. That's, it's got a smooth, scotchy flavor. This has a smooth vodka flavor. I'm not sure which I like. Let me start over. Okay. No, I'll do that later. We, uh... We're on to the second segment involving real cocktail glasses. And that's because we actually mixed up cocktails uh, based on these things. One of the more common things that people do, like with the Rob Roy and Manhattans, are to mix a dark alcohol like scotch or uh, bourbon with a sweet vermouth. And we've, we've pre-mixed these. I don't know how we're going to pour them out. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> just pour them out. So we we've, we've done half of uh, martini and Rossi, although it just says martini, sweet red, vermouth. sweet vermouth. Red vermouth is always sweet. White vermouth is made is used for martinis, and a dash of Angostura bitters. Bitters are getting to be very popular these days, um, just because it adds a little tang and a little bite to your drink. So we're gonna have to hope that not too much ice gets through here. We'll even these up. Maybe you're the even, even or upper guy here. So we have enough. So what happens is you end up with uh, a mixed drink. Uh, in fact, this is called the patty cocktail. Now, would you drink this uh, ordinarily with a twist or an olive or an onion? I think this would probably go with... Uh, I think a lemon twist. That's not bad. You know, that adds a whole world of flavor to it. I have a list of uh, six different cocktails that use both uh, Irish whiskey and sweet vermouth. The first one's a patty cocktail. So it's equal amounts of Irish whiskey and uh, sweet vermouth with a little bitters. The Black Manhattan is about one-sixth sweet vermouth to Irish whiskey. 
The others are far more complicated, uh, some involving uh, Irish mist and green chartreuse. That would be the Tipperary cocktail. Danny's Delight has th four different things, including ginger wine and lemonade. We're not going to attempt those. We're not going to do that. It's too hard. We're doing one to one here. We're going to. This is the same uh, mixture with all three whiskeys. Yes. With uh, Irish whiskey, vermouth, <laughs> and bitters. We just lost the top of our shaker. Just got excited and popped off. So, do you like the idea of having I do. sweet vermouth? Yeah, and you know, I think a little onion in here would, would work. Hmm. Last night I did a Negroni type thing with a peel, an orange peel. The orange peel makes it a little bit fruity. Sweeter, fruity, not bad. Hmm. Okay. Now, do we know which one is which, Michael? Yes, yes, I did the same thing. So, that okay. was a Kilbegan. I'm trying to keep this in order. That was a Kilbegan Patty cocktail recipe. Well, of course it's recipe. Mixture. Ooh, that looks a little darker. Now, you can get all of these whiskeys in stores locally, even though they're Irish whiskeys. There are most of them, many of them are on sale right now because it's the same it's Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day. Today's the last day. Well, tom well, tomorrow they don't sell booze until uh, noon, uh, but, but you still have time. So right. But two of them do is under 20 bucks at two cans. Most of the Irish people I know will be celebrating Saturday night so they can sleep it off Sunday. There's a big party. They're not advertisers, but there's a big party at De La Vega that looks pretty darn good. Oh, yes. Ooh, uh, this is very good. You know what? This mix is really well. This is well. livelier, isn't it? Yes, yes. It's Why like, is that? I don't know. It's like with uh, when you do margaritas, you don't want to do a dark, tasty thing. You want a light uh, uh, tequila, like uh, uh, one of my favorites. What is one of my favorites? Usually a Blanco or a silver tequila. Silver, yeah, yeah. You don't want to go with the gold. For Silver most uh, Herradura is what I like for margarita, and this is sort of like it doesn't have that moodiness underneath, but it has a sort of bright little flavor. So Tula Mordu and vermouth, hey, it goes great with a sweet vermouth. Yes, works great. I'd drink this. Hmm. Did you name one? I know one thing you wouldn't drink. What? Jose Cuervo. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. That's for tourists. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were going to do it, tequila tasting, but we didn't we, see the relevance. We'll get around to it. So this uh, third one will be the patty cocktail with uh, Michael, Michael Collins. Would you want more? Well, go ahead. Yeah, I don't want to hog it all. Okay, I'll give Just you a little me, more. A little scotch okay, more. Yeah, uh, give him a little and, more. And uh, then... Okay. We don't want to be too... Michael Collins. It's just good to say the Michael... Michael you know, Collins. Michael Collins is... You could say any word like that, but the word Michael Collins. Well, now this is not to be Michael Collins. with a Tom Collins. No, it's not. Nothing to do with it at all. Tom was not in the revolution. He was uh, out squeezing uh, lemons and limes for his drinks. Again, a whole completely different yeah. aspect to it. Yeah, this is not exciting. It's a little more due, I think, is the winner for this recipe. Oh, two, that's kind of funny because as our flavor... What does that teach us? That uh, there are hidden treasures to be found when you mix when things you mix. together. So uh, I think here's here's to you an Irish day. But uh, you know, Michael, our our bitters ingredients were not precise on each, on any of these. No, but that, they were they were equal. They were equal to each one. And, and also, you know, when people say a dash of bitters, you know what that means? What two drops? It doesn't mean anything. I mean, as long as you put a little it's, bit in. It's a random amount. Huh. Hmm. I mean, they're all good. I prefer this one the I'm most. Get, you prefer this with, with the vermouth. The vermouth. So any sweet vermouth will do. Uh, two cans. This is Martin and Rossi. This is a good standby. This could be drunk by itself. I think Boisseri could probably get its specs. Uh, I've even had the, the cheap kind, and they're not bad. They're okay. So from us in the secret uh, vault, we bid you, what do you say? How do you say adieu? Adieu. In, uh, in, in Tolomor adieu. Tolomor adieu. That was, our, that was our choice for the patty cocktail. And now back to the studios and more of Michael and Mark. 
And so um, our palates were uh, oh, it's nice good to get out of this. Oh. charmed. Oh, yes. And uh, so <clears throat> we've got a lot oh. of St. Patty's Day events coming up uh, and on after, Sunday. Yes. This show is on Saturday and Sunday, so depending on which day you're watching it, St. Patty's Day, of course, is Sunday. <laughs> and so we're going to talk about uh, a lot of the events going on around town as soon as we come back after these vital words. And some other words, too, which, which are that we will so be back. I like this necklace. It, it becomes you, you know. It, uh, y you should put it like this, and we could rein you in. Rumo! Stop. I want to red stop ball you. in the middle. It's a bit close to home. Come in throughout the day for Jazzercise, the world's dance fitness leader for nearly 40 years. Treat yourself to a relaxing massage or unwind the lounge area or outside on the balcony with friends. La Buena Vida Women's Club, located and designed with women in mind. For information, call Diane at 650-9721. Hey, you, come here. Do you want to know the news? The Las Cruces Channel is now on seven days a week. We'll keep it right here. See us today and discover why our service is second to none. In business for over 17 years, we have the right car for you. When you buy a vehicle from Fiesta Motors, we do everything possible to ensure your satisfaction. Located at the corner of El Paseo and Main, see you there. Celebrate Fiesta Motors, we buying a car is always a celebration. And we're back to Double Talk right here on our special St. Patrick's Day edition. Yes, uh, we always like this. You know, oh, the artist who was featured behind us was Maria Cruz in uh, that last segment. Oh, my hair is still crazy. Yes, we that, like to that, hang That's not from the alcohol, that's from the hat. We like to hang her artwork behind us at our secret Hiding, tasting, tasting chamber. Tasting chamber, yes. Uh, even though it's St. Patrick's Day, and uh, we're going to give you a number of places that are doing parties, feel free to have your own St. Patrick's Day party uh, with the recipe that we gave in the uh, previous segment, which was, which come on, was Mark. One ounce or one jigger full of Irish whiskey, the same amount of sweet vermouth, and just and a dash of a bitters. A dash of bitters. A little bitters. Angostura. Shaken, shaken in a... Uh, Icy cocktail mixer. Cocktail mixer and pour it over rocks. The, the secret of drinks is to chill the glasses, especially cocktail glasses. You could do that by leaving them in the freezer. I found it. It takes no more than five minutes in the freezer, Pretty and much. your your glass comes out nicely chilled. Or you put ice cubes and, and water, water, and it chills and it as well. By the time well. you finish making the drinks, I it's there. It's nice and uh, chilled. chilled. So there's a few things going on uh, in town. If if you like the presence of other people who have not yet become your friends, Irish, uh, you know, St. Patrick's Day is a great time to find new friends. Um, we're going to probably go to De La Vegas. Uh, that's always fun. They're having uh, all sorts of cute little uh, drinks. They have an Irish car bomb, which uh, is what? That's um, the beer. It's got Guinness, Bailey's, I think, and something else. Irish whiskey, maybe? I think you drop the a shot glass of something the, in it. Into the and beer. And then when you drink it back, the shot glass uh, cuts your nose off. And... Uh, uh, of course, everybody in town that's doing a St. Patty's Day special is having corned beef and cabbage. And green beer. And it's but hard to get away from that. De La Vegas is having uh, lollipop lamb chops. Mm. I'm looking forward to that. I see. On, the, uh, on the rib. On the rib, yes. And uh, some other more interesting things. Uh, Dublin's uh, Street Pub, you know, it's right near the university. That will be hopping. And uh, they are known for their green beer. And uh, they usually do something outside. They put up a tent. And uh, it gets really uh, good. Oh, you know who's going to be there? One of our favorite groups, The Liars, as well as Second Class Citizens and Blaze the Nation. Blaze the Nation was at uh, the... Uh, uh, Chong, that was the group that played for oh, the, the Chong open for show. Oh, Tommy Chong. Yeah, so that's pretty good. They'll have things outside and inside. Uh, it starts at 3 p.m. Uh, Ump 88 Grill. There's a green Would beer. Would you drink green beer? 
But I no. Why would I drink green beer? D green has no taste. I mean, I have green beer in my swimming pool right now. That's true. You do. Yeah, I, There's I not a self-respecting Irishman out there who would drink green beer. I'll have you know that. Oh, you're the self-respecting Irishman that's saying that, right? Yes. Well, it's good to know somebody who is uh, at the source. Irishman. So, uh, uh, Ump 88, you know, that's the one up by uh, Picacho uh, Hills. Picacho Hills. Uh, here's the others that from other places that are usually not associated with the Irish. The uh, Double Eagle. Well, you know, on St. Patty's Day, everybody's Irish. Farley's. Farley's, Farley's could mean, be Farley's. 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 It's kind of Irish. Uh, they have two bands from uh, uh, Los Angeles Sucker Punch and Sam Chase. That sounds good. Uh, the Game, Marcy Dickerson's uh, one of her adventures. Uh, they are having a bunch of stuff. The Raw Dogs and somebody else. And I guess uh, it, M5 is clo being closed Sunday. They, they don't have anything going on. They're closed Sunday and Monday. They're closed Sunday? Yes. But that's Aren't silly. They? I don't know. I never I tried to are. go in. Yeah. The other places, you know, Graham Central Station, which I have never been at. Have you ever been yes, there? Yes, several times. Oh, okay. So they're having something as well as Hurricane Alley. Another Marcy Dickerson uh, venture. Yes, indeed. So, uh, uh, and she knows how to, you know, have the booze flow. So th that should be pretty good. Also, you can take cabs uh, on that night. The, cab, uh, the two cab companies in town will be up and running full blast. That should be fun. Yeah. We should do, there should be some kind of a reality TV show based on cabs, don't you think? I fully agree. Well, and we'll have to do that. Anyway, have a good time. Drive safely. Be uh, uh, aware of your surroundings on uh, St. Patty's Day. But have a good time. Yes. That's the key. That's what it's for. Now, also coming up. And the end of snakes. Is an event. What's coming up? That it actually has a lot of snakes in it because it takes place out in the desert uh, by White Sands uh, Missile Range on the, on the Grange property. It's the recreation and memorialization of the Bataan Death March, which, as we all know from history, took place in, in the Philippines in World War II, when the Japanese force marched thousands of Americans 60 miles overland through sweltering heat with no food, no water, uh, severe brutality from the Japanese. Many were killed or died along the way. If you, you know, dysentery if you and stuff like that. You couldn't walk any further, you just couldn't take it, and you stopped, well, they, they just bayonet you or shoot you right there on the spot. But whatever anyway, they felt like, right? Anyway, the survivors of that horrible event, many of them come to the... Uh, to the to the, uh, the Bataan Death March that they do at White Sands. I once covered it for Men's Health Magazine and uh, got to meet several of the true survivors that were there. And many of the people who partake, uh, partake in the event wear full packs, 60-pound packs, so that they can get an idea of what it might have been like for those who had to carry those heavy packs. And there's a lot of people who are into physical exercise. The, the march is like, what, 26 miles? 26 miles, like a marathon. And you know where it is. Uh, and it's been, kinda, it's been kind of hot lately, so that's going to be rough. A lot of people end up uh, uh, wearing through their shoes. A lot of people. There's first aid stations along the way where you can get foot care. You can, if you have heat exhaustion, you can get looked at. There are vans that are running around. They'll pick people up if they can't uh, take it anymore. Being part of the press, I just jumped on the media vans and, yeah. and jumped from station to station. You didn't, you didn't do too much walking, huh? I didn't do a lot of walking. I yeah. did do a few miles, though. But you had a heavy little camera. Huh? <laughs> yeah, no, I was a pad. It was a little pa heavy pad. We were a heavy writer. And I was with a photographer. So most of the people who were in the march are easily 85 years old, at least, I think, yes, at this point. You know, so most of the people are young military. Many of them were from the National Guard units of New Mexico, too. And uh, many of them still live in New Mexico, which is why they tend to show up. But we lost one recently, and we tend to lose one or two every year. I don't. There may not be more than three that show up this year. There's not many left. I mean, it's it's been years. That was what 1940. You know, but it's, when they show up, they're treated like heroes. It's like 63 years ago. Correct me if I'm wrong. So if they were in their 20s, you know, they'd be 83 now or more. 60. Oh, it must have been 1941. Yes, they they'd be pretty old. So, but that's a good thing to honor. And uh, two or three, two or three. Forget Whenever the, the Japanese three. attacked the Philippines, because we didn't start fighting until forty-one. But we were already there, and they took us over. Yeah, well, that's when MacArthur said, "I will return." On a, uh, because he left, right? Yeah, he got out <laughs> of there. He left. He didn't walk Same on. Israel. He didn't walk on no baton death march. Um, on a, on a lighter note, should we get to a lighter note? I like this, uh, the segues here. The segues are to... Uh, well, you're not supposed to call attention to the segues, Michael. Well, I know, but now we can. 
What are we talking about next? Your segue. The Las Cruces Arts Fair. Something happy. You know, this weekend. One of the things that happens, especially with Adrian Alvarez on my favorite uh, new show, she has to go from people getting shot in Juarez to nice things happening with kids. And her uh, expressions change immediately. And they're just so fluid. Uh, she can be and really sad about stuff. Her. Well, because I just changed my expression from being sad about uh, the Bataan oh. Death March to being really happy about the Las Cruces Arts Fair. Well, that's going on at the convention center uh, today and tomorrow. All day long, lots of good artists on display and things are for sale. Uh, also going on this weekend, we have... Oh, you don't want to talk about art? Well, we only got Did a minute, you, that, a That's a lot of crafts. Left. Oh, okay. And that's one of the How examples of things that you're going to see there. Uh, also, th this weekend, we have a Midsummer a Night's Dream. It's the final weekend. Uh, Saturday and Sunday are the final night, 7 o'clock. I saw it last week. It was great. It's I enjoyed it a lot. It's a wonderful show. I encourage everybody to come. It's only $10. And also, you know, this is the 40-year anniversary of Sonic Drive-In in Las Cruces. That's Sonic incredible. Restaurant. Yeah, one of the first fast food restaurants in Las Cruces. I think they were here before McDonald's. Well, you don't have to walk uh, 60 miles to get to a Sonic. That's no, for sure. They're all over. This weekend, to celebrate the 40 years, you can get 40 cent uh, hot dogs, 40 cent uh, hamburgers, the things there. Saturday. Saturday. And uh, also uh, today at Petco, because it's St. Patrick's oh. Day, you can, get, you can adopt an animal thanks to Action Programs for Animals at Petco. How much are uh, they? Sunday from 11 to 4 for $7.77. That's really cheap. That's very cheap and for a lifelong pet. I and know. for more information on that, call APA at 644-0505. And then the Spano Chamber of Commerce is having a, uh, a meeting on Tuesday. A, a mixer. It's a mixer. Tuesday, March 19th. Five at Susborough's. 5 30 to 7 o'clock. That's yep, sponsored by the Hispano the, Chamber. And if you uh, belong, come on down. If you'd like to join the Hispano, come on down. They'll sign you up right there on the spot. And uh, it's at uh, uh, 1115 South Valley. South Valley Drive. We were at a, has a number of Hispano Chamber of Commerces. And you know, Las Cruces Channel is uh, when, yeah, I mentioned Las Cruces Channel when you get there. Say so you heard about this on Channel 98. And, and they'll treat you like kings, they'll give you a free test drive. Well, they, they give, no, you they one give of those everybody anyway. a free test drive. Anyway, uh, we got to get out of here, right, and uh, go to that because it takes us a long time to get dressed. Well, we, you know, we get lost. And i got to redo my hair. And, uh, we, we, well, we're going to go to the arts fair along the way, too. There's plenty of things to do this pick, weekend. Pick up a pet. So thanks for joining us for this week's Double Talk, and we'll be back right here, same time, same station, next week.